Hey folks, let's take a look at the fight that happened on UFC on ESPN, Fon versus Aldo. That's UFC on ESPN 31 or UFC Vegas 44 is also what it's called. Thank you UFC for the naming conventions that we all hate. So, um, this is the fight between uh, Rafael Fiziev uh, and Brad Riddell. Riddell, Riddell, I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, it's light, heavy, lightweight. So, um, this was an interesting fight. Things were going, you know, relatively evenly. I think both fighters did did pretty well. But then we get to this phase here. So you can see that Fiziev is is putting pressure forward, and Riddell is going to try to escape over towards his right side. In and of itself, not not a, a terrible thing. But the point is that you need to understand range, and and this is something that I've discussed over on my Facebook page and on my Patreon before, is that um, a lot of fighters have this this misconception about what range actually means. So you can see here the start of the escape over to the side because backing up is no longer possible, and I mean Fiziev hits hard. The guy put put on a show of hitting really really hard. Kudos to Riddell for being able to handle it, but this is where the end starts. So notice that he's going, scooting off over to the right. And this is where you can see that the spin that Fiziev is going to use to land that kick immediately starts. So he notices his opponent going to, towards the left and immediately starts to spin. Now at this stage, I mean, this is a really obvious spin. It's not wrong, but it's obvious. You can spot it. So as he's going over to the side, Riddell should see the dropping of the hands, the pivoting on the feet, the preparation of the hip turn. I mean, all that is, is readily available as a cue. You can spot it right away. So notice that the spin starts and notice how far the kick is already going before at this stage, you can see that Riddell is slowly picking up his hands. So that's um, relatively slow. So I'm going to show something else after, but here you can see that the kick follows through. It lands, I mean, and this is just, the, the foot is landing perfectly. It looks like it's a good heel contact as well. And what follows is that, I mean, smashing impact here. You can see the head snap over to the side. And, and at that stage, Riddell is just out of it. He, it looks like he says something like my head or I can't really make it out, but he's no longer uh, able to function correctly. Notice how he's really awkwardly stepping back here he's looking away notice that he's looking away from his opponent um and i mean there, something went off maybe he he's uh, temporarily blinded could be totally out of it um anyway you can see that he's not paying much attention and then covers up and it, it's pretty much too late and and the ref steps in so that's from this angle so very quickly from a different angle here you see it better so when i talk about range here's the thing so most people define range as the distance between uh, both fighters, it's fine. So I've talked before about the flashlight analogy, is that imagine there's a beam of a flashlight that is coming out of your center line towards the opponent. It's in this intersection here in this area where you can do most damage. That's also where the danger is, right? So a lot of fighters think that the only way to fight is to be face to face and basically go straight at each other. Better fighters start to find angles of slightly moving over off to the side where they are no longer in that um, metaphorical flashlight beam so that instead of being inside that danger zone, they step out of it and attack from there, closing what have you. Now, in and of itself, what Riddell does here is trying to do that. He gets off to the side and gets out of that zone. However, and this is the key, a good fighter anticipates that. and is able to strike comfortably outside of this high danger area. And that is exactly what the spinning kick here does. When I teach fighters, there's two things I teach them. Once they get beyond the basics and we can get to some intermediate stuff, which is what this technique is in my opinion, is that if you've got the guy backed up, he's gonna go most often three things. Go over to his left, his right, or come at you. So you have to have something ready. You have to be perceptually ready for these three things to happen. You can see here that Fiziev is being very, very mindful, paying a lot of attention, and is noticing that, all right, he's going over towards my left side. He immediately initiates that spinning kick. Now you can see here, the biggest mistake Riddell makes is doing so and thinking that I'm out of range. 
he can't he can hit me i'm no longer in front of him i'm moving off to the side i'm safe this is a critical mistake i can't tell you how many times in sparring that i've done this with my students that they do the exact same thing and then i land a, a, a kick in their face um, and this is just not me being all that great i'm almost 50 so uh it i'm not as fast as i used to be it's just understanding range and angles right so that's the whole point so what you want to do is make sure as you step off to the side when you scoot away pick up your freaking guard keep it high just as a standard i know it's not fun i know it's it's uh something that most people think well you know i can get away without fine okay until this kind of thing happens so just for complete mistake because he's standing in the left lead for physios the spinning kick here is the best response um in this case when the opponent goes towards his left if the opponent goes towards his right i prefer a right body kick or a right high kick uh, to really punish the guy because if they drop their hands they're not paying attention these tend to land well you might have to use a little step with your left leg depends on how fast they are how fast you are angles and so on so that's uh, the whole explanation about what you can do with these scenarios now Moving on, you can see the spin. He doesn't spin all that great, in my opinion. I mean, it's, obviously the kick worked, but you can see that he is going to pick up his foot before he's got a really good spin going with his whole hips and body. See, the foot's already off the ground as his body still has to complete a lot of the spinning motion, which is what you see here. You're going to see that he stops spinning with his upper body and the leg is gonna swing wide and hit him anyway. So that's just, it's a strength move. If you're strong, you can get away with that and you've got big heavy legs, it's gonna have a good impact. But notice how the upper body stops swinging and it's just the leg that continues until it lands. It lands, it worked, then um, there's little to complain about. But if you practice that kick, what I would suggest is try to continue the rotation uh, with your upper body and your hips so that you can really accelerate through the target as opposed to what you have here physios stop spinning i mean just look at his upper body and look at what his leg is doing his upper body stops and the leg continues by itself again in this case it worked but if you want to have a, an even more powerful kick keep spinning it's not always going to work depends on timing distancing angles and so on but if you can keep on spinning that would be even better that said you can notice here it's i mean that that kick is full on it's just landing square in the face of Riddell. Poor guy. And again, you can see that he's just, just totally out of it. And then from here, the recovery. So again, this is one of the reasons why I don't I, I prefer to spin through. Because notice what happens next. He's going to put his leg down. And notice this awkward angle that he finds himself in. Right? So again, flashlight analogy. His flashlight is over here. And Riddell's flashlight is over here. So if Riddell would have blocked or dodged uh, and not been hit, he could have gone straight forward and, and go at him. Whereas Fiziev would have had to pivot towards his opponent or get out of there. So that's why the follow through with the spin is, is in my opin in opinion, important to try to get if you can get it. If you don't get it, put that leg down and immediately make sure that you regain your fighting uh, stance and orientation on the opponent. So that's what we have here and you can see i mean the guy's down and there's just a quick blast boom boom one two and the ref steps in it's like oh my god guys stop beating this guy up it's over and we're done right so one more thing and this is a really good angle to see it so notice that riddle is just looking right at physiath so he's, he's got a clear visual of what's going on here he decides to get off to the side there's a little bit of a feint here see towards his left side you can see his head going a little bit off left before he scoots over to the right nice little move tends to work well sadly in this case it didn't you can see Corey Sandhagen uh, in his in his last fight uh, against Peter Jan you could see him sometimes doing that as well uh, just just fainting left right or, or right left uh, or, or sometimes even more if I'm not mistaken to scoot off uh, from the cage and go sideways so it, it's a good move there's nothing wrong with that but when it doesn't work you want to have a second layer of defense and that is keep your hands high watch his right hand see what happens it drops all the way down as he faints and then scoots off to the side and it doesn't come up and and this is in my opinion a little bit of complacency so always make sure you have defense before during and after a technique and that not that means not just when you attack always worry about defense now notice again the spin is on the way 
watch the hand it's low the other ones out of the frame but it's still low and you will see how late in the technique of the spinning kick that the hand started to come up for Riddell and then he has a reaching movement and this is one of the things I've talked about many many times before he reaches a little bit towards the kick instead of bringing his arms in and hiding behind them as if you were carrying a shield so don't reach towards kicking techniques it hardly ever works make sure you keep a high guard here with an arm bent here and the other arm can come all the way from here all the way across and then you've got your hands here i'm i'm crap at drawing this but you see what i mean kind of like when you do a double block against a, a left body kick or a left high kick but make sure you cover this zone here or i'll draw a square so you can see it better so this whole right flank is in danger that's what you need to cover it could have been a spinning back kick which means that it goes straight towards the body as opposed to circling as Fiziev did here. Sure, same thing. Keep your arms tight. Keep your arms pulled in close. Duck your head down a little bit low to make sure that you're caught as much as you can. And then you need to have a little bit of luck that it doesn't, you know, get perfectly placed in between your arms. Regardless, try to keep your hands up. So notice here, again, a little bit of the reaching. And as he reaches, notice how he turns his head away from his potential fist or hand guarding his head and this opens him up for the kick even more notice the left hand here reaching all the way through as opposed to hiding behind and then the kick lands i mean look at this, this is a beautiful kick it lands perfectly and and has um, a nice fragmenting impact and then that's all she wrote and notice you can see here i mean he's out of it uh, don't know exactly what happened but look at at the loss of focus you can see here once again he's, he's just not seeing anything uh, not seeing his opponent very confused you can see if he is ready to finish it off and then he says something i don't know what he says i think it looks like he says my head or something but i get the impression that he, he has a momentary loss of vision that, that sometimes happens and that was a fight all right guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this one uh, again i'm back uh, i was very busy uh, I have about five businesses that I, that I run all by myself, so uh, life gets cra crazy sometimes. That's why I was a little bit late with new content, but uh, there's more to come. That's it, guys. Take care. Talk to you next time.